here with uh, Music and Coffee with Chelsea Beth, and uh, I'm going to be interviewing Brandon Harris today about one of his songs, and we are drinking coffee uh, courtesy of The Bean Cycle. Shout out to Corey Wright for providing us with this awesome coffee, sure. and uh, shout out to Callie Mitchell for helping us out with videography today. So, um, yeah, we're just going to start talking about your song, Brandon. What do you want to play for us today? Uh, damn, it doesn't have a name. Uh, it's a new song. Yeah, it's a new song. Um, hmm. Call it call it Matthew Street because that's where I live right now. That's a good um, idea. Yeah, totally. A lot of my favorite records have like uh, they're like named after the house or the street or like something about something. So I don't know. That was my first thought. And also, um, you're moving soon. Mm-hmm. End so, of the month. Yeah. So it seems today. kind of bittersweet <laughs> that you would play yeah. a song about the place that you're leaving. Totally. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about the song that you're going to play. Like, what inspired the song? What was the process of writing it like? Um, lots of procrastination. I don't think I wrote it until, like, one in the morning or something. Last night? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, don't, I don't remember when we talked about it. I was like, yeah, I'm going to, like, write this new song or whatever. And I was just like, shit, like, I need to do this. So uh, a lot of time went on, and I was just trying to, like, think about what I wanted it to be about, I guess. And, uh... I don't know, kind of what I stumbled upon is like, since I've been here in Fort Collins, I've taken in a lot of people, I've helped a lot of people, um, I've given like everything that I have, literally. Uh, hi, baby. And then, I don't know, it gets confusing because it's like, is that a good thing? Or am I, uh, am I helping people or am I like enabling people? Can you tell me what you mean by that? Um, more specifically, I guess like, I've taken in a bunch of homeless people and, um, I don't know, it's just like, I've tried to get them jobs, give them a place to stay, or uh, not even that, I, you know, just like, hey, I'm not asking for your money, I'm just like asking for your time to like help me, you know, with whatever it is, whether it's music or any help getting food or, you know, I don't know, something, but like there needs to be some sort of exchange of time or something, but um, I don't know, so I try to do that, I try to be responsible, I try to show them like how I live or how I'm being straight or putting a roof over my head. Uh, and yeah, I don't know, like basically you could offer that kind of help or you could just like put a roof over someone's head and be like, yeah, do whatever you want. Like smoke weed, like get drunk, like spend all your money on booze, like, you know. It sounds know. like you're like trying to take care of people and then feeling frustrated when they don't sort of rise to the occasion. Uh, definitely. And it's, um, I don't know, it's just really sad to see, honestly. I wouldn't even say that I get frustrated because uh, at the end of the day, it's like it's only you who can like control your own destiny and I can't like force their hand to like want to have the drive to not be homeless, to get a job, to either whether it's go back to your parents or something, I don't know. I've just like seen the cycle of just like, there must have been some point, I guess, where they should have just jumped ship and been like, I need to go to a shelter or like get a job or like sell all my stuff to get a car so I could live out of my car or like you know what I mean like there had to have been multiple points in their life where they were like this is going really south have you ever been in a place like that uh totally totally that's why I'm like absolutely so sympathetic uh I've been homeless a couple times and um I don't know so I always try to help people and it's like I've always just had like the motivation I guess to like get myself out of that situation and it's always been by, like, circumstance, not by, like, uh, want. But most of these people that I'm coming in contact with, I feel like it's important to say, like, want to be homeless. Like, they don't want to have a job. They don't want to have money. And it's like, you just want to, like, sleep outside. <laughs> but, uh... It sounds like that's different from what you've wanted. For sure. For sure. Well said. Well said. And then, um... I don't know. I was in, like, a really, really serious relationship. And, uh while I was in this apartment and then she literally sold everything except for like the mattress on the floor over there <laughs> and everything was gone most of my guitars my computer uh she took the car that we bought together and I was just like left here by myself after I had already come here by myself with like less than I already had after like already trying to help so many people and I was just like so you lost a lot uh yeah I gave like everything and uh, to multiple people, not just one, but that was like a huge blow and I was like, okay, now I have to figure out how to like rebuild myself. Um, do you feel like you would do anything rough. differently if you were to do it over again? Ooh, I don't know. Um, I, 
definitely learned a lot about like what I need to do in terms of like relationships, whether it's like girlfriend or lover or something, or friend or whoever, parents, um, like between work and relationships. Because there's a lot of time where I was like, I mean, you guys know me. It's like I play like eight gigs a week sometimes. <laughs> you know, it's like ridiculous. So, uh, but the only way I do that is because I send emails like all day long. So if I'm not like, you know, working, then I'm not going to like get money. So. Yeah, you started the interview uh, saying you gave everything, that you've given everything to music. And I'm mm -hmm. hearing you've given everything in a lot of areas of your life. Yeah, for sure. I wonder what it would be like to sometimes hold back some of yourself. Could you imagine? Yeah, that? yeah. Um, totally. Totally. I think uh, that's just what I've learned in general. It's just like, I'm not trying to enable people anymore. That's what I'm saying. Like, those things that I'm doing, although they seem helpful to me, it's like, it's only like pushing people like deeper into this like, I don't know. Uh, depression is normally the first thing that I've seen from these people. It's like, they're just like, once I've like given them a bunch of stuff and like try to help them get there it's like they just like go down for some reason and what Mentally. about you like what's the impact on you emotionally uh it's just draining and so draining yeah. i've like given up and you sound people. tired yeah yeah yeah, yeah i just like have totally been like i'm just gonna do me mm -hmm. which is kind of cool because i haven't done that in a long time so is this with the the song that you're playing today, would you say that that's a reflection of the places you've been, of giving yourself, giving so much of yourself, or is it a, a reflection of something else or the place you want to be? Um, probably been. The place you've been? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I haven't, man, I don't think I've written anything ever as like a perspective from the future or, or not from my own eyes, I guess. So I would say it'd have to be the past. How does this song in particular relate to that that story for you? Um, I don't know. Uh, I first tried to, tried to like start it writing it from like the perspective of the house and seeing like um, I don't know, like how the room would have seen what was going on. But then it got like really sad, and I was just like, this is not what I want. Uh, so I flipped it back to me, and. Um, I don't know, that kind of changed the perspective, obviously, but, like, um, definitely trying to think about, like, you know, how I just, like, gave my very tiny apartment to whoever and tried to just, like, facilitate everything while I was just, like, trying to do my own thing. I don't think it really worked out, and, uh, I don't know, I learned how to, like, just live, like, efficiently and, like, mind my own business and also, like trying to um, show other people like how you can just like be inspired I guess. So that's the perspective of the song shifted from being the perspective of the house to being your perspective? Yeah, yeah. Because it was just like, you know, I don't know, I was seeing all like the the sad people and people just like not really coming up and you know me trying like all day long to facilitate for like two sometimes three people and it's like you know, I don't know, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. So, do you want to play the song for us? And I could try. I I've only yeah. done it twice, so. Okay. <laughs> this is uh, Matthew Street, written by Brandon Harris last night at 1 a.m. <laughs> mm -hmm. True.
of that ex those experiences that you were sharing about and you know the things that the emotional pain you've been through around feeling disappointed by people yeah um, definitely so thanks for sharing that with us today and totally. I really hope that you feel like you're you're getting a new start I do I do actually and I'm paying like half price what I was paying before hell so yeah that's what it's all about Get an extra like six hundred dollars a month whatever <laughs> Sounds like things are on the rise. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, hopefully getting a job in Loveland, teaching guitar. That's awesome. So, definitely, definitely. 20 an hour, dude. I'm like stoked. Oh, I'm super stoked for you. Thanks for doing so, this today. Life is good now. But, yeah, I was trying to trying to capture all the, the good and the bad, you know? Yeah. That's what you got to do sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, well, this is uh, Music and Coffee with Chelsea Beth and Brandon Harris. Song, uh, Matthew Street. Thanks for watching. Huh. <laughs>